Lord, a good praise clap offering tonight. Amen. Amen. If you're glad you're in the house of the Lord, give me a good light. Amen. Amen. If he's blessing you, give me a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Just turn around and greet one another another time and welcome each one to the house of the Lord tonight, especially those of you that are visiting for the first time. And then you may be seated. <laughs> oh, bless his name. Glory be to God. Wow. It's always great when we come to a water baptismal uh, service. Uh, we have, must have baptized since we've moved into the building here, uh, close to over 100 candidates. And isn't that incredible? We give the Lord the glory for that. He is so faithful. And for these candidates here tonight, uh, it's just a joy to see them going on in the Lord, making their complete commitment to Him, uh, which is so important. You know, I just want to share briefly a little bit, and then we will be uh, baptizing half of the candidates, and then there'll be some announcements in, in between from Pastor Ripton, and then we'll uh, baptize the remainder. But there's two things that we're going to see uh, here tonight that, of course, water baptism, it's an outward sign of an inward work. And that's what's happening here tonight. These candidates are just making that confirmation to the Lord that Jesus, we're serving you. And they're doing it publicly. Amen. And you know, when you make a declaration publicly, as we heard in the message this morning with Pastor Brian, you have to live right. Amen. All, all eyes are going to be on you now. Uh, you can't be in a secret service, that's for sure, uh, because uh, the Bible says iron sharpeneth iron, and uh, it's good to live for the Lord, it really is. And of course, what this represents tonight through the waters of baptism is the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we certainly want to follow in His footsteps, amen? Uh, there's no better example than the example of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the best role model that any of us could have. Uh, not all the role models out there are good ones, but when you look at the life of Jesus, who would not want to follow in the footsteps of the Galilean? Amen? He's a lovely Savior here. He really is. I want to read some scriptures from Matthew chapter 3 regarding John the Baptist. There's a great difference between the baptism of John and and that of being baptized into the Lord Jesus Christ, as I've mentioned, his death, burial, and resurrection. It says, In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent you, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Boy, how closer are we today to that kingdom being released and revealed. My goodness, so much closer. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. What a character. Can you imagine if John the Baptist walked in here today? I'm telling you, all eyes would be gazing at him. You know, he was a little different, wasn't he? And then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region around about Jordan and were baptized of him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? John wasn't the political correct kind of individual. He just said it the way that it was. Bring forth therefore fruits, meet for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is you and thine and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. 
He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Oh, my goodness. I think some of these candidates tonight are open to receiving that baptism of the Holy Ghost when they come up out of those waters. Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. And then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. Jesus didn't need to repent of any sin. He was the sinless one. But what he was doing, he was showing us one of the two ordinances that is set out before us. One is that of the Holy Communion, and the other is water baptism. And he was showing us an example in which you and I can follow. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. And then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, notice what it says here because it shows us what baptism is all about. He went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. You know, candidates tonight, Jesus is well pleased with you. John's baptism was unto repentance. These candidates have already accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior into their life. They're being baptized into the death, the burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are following in the footsteps of Jesus. Amen? And how important that is as they serve the Lord and as they follow Him. You see, in Romans chapter 6, verses 1 through 5, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was risen up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. When these candidates go through this water, they're going to leave the old man, the old woman down there in the tank, and they're going to raise up into the newness of life. Amen? Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Colossians 2, verses 12 and 13. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your sins and on in your on its circumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven your trespasses. Going through water baptism doesn't save us. It's only by and through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Going through these waters just simply signify that we're just following in the footsteps of Jesus. It's an outward sign of the inward work that has been done in our hearts and in our lives. You remember in Acts chapter 16, verse 33, regarding Paul and Silas, there they were in prison. They were rejoicing in God. A great earthquake happened. They were set free, and the jailer was wondering, how come they didn't flee? And the Bible tells us that the Philippine jailer, that he, along with his household, accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, and then were baptized. It's good to follow in the footsteps of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. 
You know, in Acts 10, verse 47, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And you know, there's different ways. When people got saved, filled with the Holy Spirit, they have water baptized or saved and baptized. Again, what we're simply declaring is that we're following in the footsteps of our wonderful Lord and Savior. Amen? Another great story is found in Acts 8, 38. Regarding Philip and the eunuch, Philip was directed to go to this man, and it says, and he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. We don't sprinkle here. We believe that when a person comes to that place of maturity in their life of accepting Jesus, they simply go in underneath those waters. They went down into the water. Jesus went down into the water, and when he came up, that's when the Father said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Amen? You see, we know it's not through works of righteousness. It is simply by and through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? That's why 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if any man, any woman be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The old law was done away with. Now here we find ourselves under grace with a Savior that loves us and cares for us. And all he asks is that we follow in his footsteps. One last scripture I want to give you is Romans 8 verses 1 through 4. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but we walk after the Spirit. You see, when you get saved, when you surrender your life to Jesus, our desires are different. We want to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Who knows what God is going to do in and through not only the life of these candidates, but each and every one of us here tonight that are here to witness it and to give thanks to God for His goodness and for His saving grace. Some of our candidates here tonight are just new believers in the Lord of recent. Others have been simply putting it off. But here they are tonight making that declaration of faith that they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we just pray for them right now as we bow our heads? And I'm going to ask in just a moment if our first group of candidates will get ready. But Father, we pray for them right now. We thank you for them. We thank you for their life for their salvation, for their walk in you. And now, Lord, in obedience to you, they're going through these waters of baptism. Bless everyone that's here to, to witness this tonight and to rejoice along with them in their declaration of faith. So, Lord, we commit them into your hands and the rest of the service in the lovely name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. If we can have our first group of candidates uh, get ready and make their way up, hallelujah. Let's appreciate them as they come, shall we? <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I think we have about 18 candidates tonight. That's wonderful. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just praying the water's up to temperature. Hallelujah. <laughs> At least it's not Russia. I, I, I was talking with Reverend Weller uh, just the other day. He's going to be with us in December. And I remember him telling us the story that when he was ministering in Russia in the heart of winter, that what they would do was they would go down to the lake, they would cut a hole in the ice. That's real Christianity. And they were baptized. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Wow. In the heart of Russia. But people are getting saved. People are following in the footsteps of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. What's that temperature like, Pastor Brian? 
72. That's not bad. It started out at 60. All right. Here we go. wonder the Bible says I can do all things through Christ? <laughs> it's not bad at all. Who's our first candidate? Come forward. God bless you. My name is Tashane Dallas, and um, I, am ex I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior the second time I attended Faith Gospel at, Chris at um, the Christmas service last year. Um, my testimony is that God has been so loyal and faithful to me, and this water baptism is an expression of my faith, loyalty, and love for God, my Heavenly Father. according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. According to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Tina, and I accepted the Lord as my, I, I accepted my Lord as my Lord and Savior, and um, the reason why I wanted to be baptized is to become closer to God. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> Quintina, according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My name is Luke Richards. Um, this is actually my third time being baptized. <laughs> um, yeah, over my life, I've made a lot of bad choices. I followed away from God, and um, yeah, I've committed a lot of sins since my last time when I accepted Christ and uh, became a Christian. But I, I know it was that it's as simple as getting on my knees and praying for forgiveness, but I wanted to take a step further and be baptized again and actually recommit my life to God. Lucas, according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Still I will follow, though none go with me, still I Raquel Blake. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior years ago. I think I've just been somewhat hesitant to take this open step. So I am here tonight to basically solidify that commitment. Those of you here that know me, friends, family, I just want to thank you for your support and I want to ask you to continue to support me while I embark on this journey. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Raquel, according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Muhammad, and um, I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior uh, last year, June 2016. Um, my choice to do uh, the water baptism 
is I have also been one of those people that have fallen away from God and gone down different paths. And today I wanted to declare and make this commitment um, so that I can, you know, kind of rejuvenate my uh, belief and faith in God. So this is why I chose to do the water baptism and kind of like a refresher, restart, and new beginnings. So thank you everybody for attending. Natasha, according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus to be my savior at approximately the age of six. Um, I was introduced to God as a child by my grandmother. However, knowing God then did not mean allowing me to lead my life. Although I must say his presence was always felt and known over the years. This past year, I have felt a strong need to dig deeper into my relationship with God. In this process, he has shown me all he's capable of doing in my life if I surrender. My faith has now been renewed, and I am now committed to live my life according to his will. Crystal, according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and I want to follow him in water, follow him. In water baptism. In water baptism. All right. Um, <laughs> he's a wee bit shy. <laughs> TJ, according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> he wants to swim. Not too bad. Get a photograph. Turn around. Right. Just your full name, name and a little testimony. Hey, my name is Tepang Roselle, and I was born into a Christian home, but I've decided <laughs> I've decided to commit my life to the Lord. Wonderful. Okay, thank you for the people with more than a few seconds. Tepang, according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One more before. 
before Pastor Ripton comes. ready to be baptized in the name of Jesus, and may his Holy Spirit be upon me forever. Amen. Amen. Daphne, according to your faith and the word of your testimony, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. that following our time here tonight, uh, you're all invited downstairs for some refreshments. So please uh, keep that in mind, and that way you get an opportunity to greet all of these uh, wonderful candidates tonight. So we're ready now for the next uh, group to come at this time. My name is Valerie Spence, and I recently gave my life to Jesus Christ this year. And um, previously, like a couple months ago, I came across this verse, which is John 13, verse 8. And Jesus says, unless I wash you, you will have no place with me. And when he died on the cross, he washed us of our sins, and I want to have a place with him. So. Amen. of your faith and the word of your testimony, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the presence of the Lord, I've been free, delivered, in your presence, Lord. Trust me, it's a lot warmer than the and first candidate's had. <laughs> and right now, right now is the today. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jaden Gafour. Um, so I, for my testimony, I'd like to start off with a verse. It says, it's taken from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things... Are become new. And I just want to be baptized so I get that renewal in God and I want to become a new man in Christ. Amen. Jaden, by the word of your testimony and the confession of your faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
church, my name is Andrew Grant Jones, and I dedicated my life to Jesus Christ maybe over about 10 years ago. And I've been putting this off and putting this off, and I finally said I need to get this done. Um, and God has been so good to me. We would be here all night if I talked about all the things that he's done in my life. And I'm so thankful. I'm thankful that my kids get to see me being water baptized today because that is what I want them to see. I want them to know that this is a journey on the Christian walk. So that's why I'm here. And I thank you to everyone in the church and to our pastors because they are on this journey with me. And I'm happy. So thank you. And I can't swim, so, so swimming is my biggest fear. Okay? <laughs> I've never been underwater. So this is a big step for me. And this is why I've been pushing it off as well, too. So mm. She's about to overcome that fear. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Andrea. By the word of your testimony and the confession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My past is over. Church. Uh, my name is Gary Jones. Um, I'd like to just take this opportunity to thank my wife, my family, pastors, uh, friends who are here to help me take this next step. Because I think it's very important that our kids know that as for me and my house, we decided to follow Jesus. wife said who just went before me we can be all we can be here all day if we want to give testimonies as far as what God has done in our lives and I just want to say I'm, I've been putting this off for quite some time and I'm quite frankly sick and tired of being sick and tired of putting it off so um, I'm taking the step today uh, in front of everyone to say I'm making a public declaration that he is alive today yesterday and forever, and I'm just going to take this walk one step at a time, one day at a time, and just keep praying for all of us. Thank you. <laughs> Gary, by the confession of your faith and the word of your testimony, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son spirit. Church. My name is uh, Daniel Bubalo. I've been coming to this church beginning of this year. I've been really accepted by you guys and the two pastors. I, and I want to take this step to help my faith. Thank you. And Daniel, by the confession of your faith and the word of your testimony, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, our prayers team are going to come back and uh, 
sing a few more songs for us at this time. We appreciate all of you being with us tonight. Hasn't this been wonderful? Helping people in their faith as they serve the Lord together. It's, it's incredible. Amen. So would you stand together as the praise team comes? What do you think, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. God bless you. Praise team. Thank you. <laughs> 